Welcome to the Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this uh, tutorial we're going to explain once you've created your project how to publish it and uh, upload it to your host. Okay, one of the first things you need to do if uh, you haven't done it already is to create a database and database user for, uh, with your host. So normally in the control panel you'll have options for databases. You'll have a uh, MySQL databases, PHP, MyAdmin, and other database utilities. What you need to do is, is uh, go to your database creation page and uh, create a new database, create a database user, and add the user to the database. You then need to copy down all the details, password, username, and database name that you've created. Okay, the next thing you want to do is actually export the database that you've been using with Bluebox PHP. To do that, we're using XAMPP. And within XAMPP, which is the default web server that we've been using our tutorials, we have a MySQL running and we can just uh, select admin. Admin opens up the PHP MyAdmin MySQL manager. And what we need to do is select the database that we've been using in our project. For this project it's been Jewelry Shop. And we just need to export the database. We're going to add the drop table if required. Leave everything else standard. And we're going to export it to a file. Let's click Go. This then uh, will then save the file. It's going to save it as Jewelry Shop SQL. If we now open the directory containing folder for this file, and we just have a brief look at it, we can see it has all the information for creating the tables and populating it with the data that we've got in our local database. Okay, so what you can do with that file is going back to your control panel host control panel for your website is you go to PHP my admin and in PHP my admin you'll import you'll select your newly created database and import the file that you've just created and the import file that you've just created is the jewelry shop SQL or whichever database you've exported Okay, now with the new database details that you've you've just created, your username, password, database name, etc., you'll uh, open Bluebox PHP and load in your project. This is the jewelry shop project we're using. Go to the menu project tab and select properties. There's a tutorial video all about the project properties, but for publishing, the important options are setting up your domain name. Browse it cyanbeachjewelry.com, compressing the CSS, publish the pages as .php. And if we look at our published database settings, we have a local host, which is our newly created database host on the on our server. We have our username we've just created, we have our password that we've just created, and the database name that we've just created that we've just uploaded our local database to. Okay, with them settings now now completed. We go to project and at the bottom of the list we select publish project. Publish project now cleans the whole project, the direct, and uh, builds a project in our published directory. And you can see here we get a brief report. This is where the this is the directory the project's been published to. It's in your blue box PHP projects, the actual project name and the published directory. I'll just show you that now. So ours is actually Blue Box PHP projects. Ours is Jewelry Shop. You have two folders in here: script folder. This is used during development and published, and this is the directory where your new site's been published to. If we open that. You can see we have all the files and folders for the project, including the robots text file. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is actually upload all this, uh, all these pages and all these directories to your host, to your website. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new FTP account. So same again, going back to your host control panel. 
and uh, under files in, in this case we've got FTP accounts and we just go and create a new FTP account and this gives you uh, a username and password or when you selected your hosting company they will have sent you FTP details along with your account details so either either create a new FTP account or use the account details that your hosting company has already sent you okay so once you have your FTP details we now want to upload all the directories and, and files up to uh, up to our host. So we can do this through the again through the control panel file manager, or we can use a third-party application. And in this case, we're going to actually use FileZilla, which is a, a free FTP solution. If you look, the tab I've got opened here, we have the URL for it. It's a free download. So we select download the FileZilla client, not the server. And when we get there to the client download page, we just want to download the FileZilla setup exe. This uh, runs the installation and everything for you. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed FileZilla or you've selected which FTP solution you're going to use, we'll open FileZilla and we'll create a new account new site, I'll just call this uh, shop and here we have to put our details in for ours it's uh, ftp dot um, set up as a normal ftp our username password this is the username and password that we've either used to create our FTP account or that our, our hosting company has sent us we now do a test connect okay so we're now connected to our hosting company and we want to navigate to our published project so in Bluebox PHP, we open that. In Projects, we open that. And our project we're working on is Jewelry Shop. We open that and we select Published. These are all the files and folders in our published site. So selecting the first one, holding down the Shift key, and selecting the last file. And then we can just again left click and holding left click and holding down, we can drag and drop into our host directory and all our files and folders uh, now get uploaded and once all the files have finished uploading files and directories all that's left to do is just to test the site just open a new tab and just uh, navigate to where we just uploaded all our files okay so there's our site that we've just uploaded just everything looks fine Okay, so that concludes the tutorial on uh, publishing your project.